So no changes. Little surprise that Stanford didn't look for a different starting order. Well, and Micah Hancock, who started out on a 5-0 rip to open up game one, gets the first point of this second set. The left-hander, the top server in the country this year, was the most outstanding player in last year's tournament, leading Penn State to the championship and the service error. Morgan Bocather, the senior out of Newport Beach in her first year as a starter. And starting is big at Stanford because they do not utilize their bench very much. So you don't get a whole lot of playing time unless you can crack that top six. No, but that's one of their advantages is they have the same players yep. together on the court so much of the time. The same five players with the set of Maddie Bug, the opposite Bocather, who just makes the play there. The Libero Gilbert and the two outsides. Howard, who's blocking here. And then finally Jordan Burgess. And the block for Grant and Franti. This is a nice bounce back for Allie Franti as she goes back to serve. After a subpar performance was under the weather in their region final, actually got pulled for another freshman, Simone Lee. But Franti, for much of the season, was leading this Penn State team in kills. And if you're going to go at that line passer, that's exactly where you want to go. A hitter high toward the left shoulder. Boy, if you could dial that one in every time, you'll take it, landing it in the corner. Now Stanford is crowding over, trying to help take some space away from Howard, but still gets her the ball. Courtney. Didn't get a touch. Taps her chest. Says, my bad. Point Stanford. Brittany Howard to serve. The junior out of Los Altos. Player that John Dunning calls the glue of this team. Hancock. The tip from Grant. Point Penn State. In the... Uh, an attempt to get to the finals for the 10th time in school history. For Stanford, it would be a 15th trip. Russ Rose has been so good at this point. He's 9-2 all-time in the national semis. And after losing in the finals the first three times he got there, he's won the last six trips to the championship match. Is that all? Six? Come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> right down through the hardwood, the sport court for Megan Courtney. And I love how her teammate, Haley Washington, going crazy for her. That's one of the best ways you can uh, inspire your teammates. Celebrate those around you and their successes. Bird just beat the block. Point Stanford. Bug now serving. Led the country in assists per set this season. Courtney with the tip. Point Penn State. Well, you can see Stanford is having a lot of trouble. Some of these sets are low, or at least the hitter is late. And the hitter really doesn't have a chance to attack. So what choice, where else are they going to go but tip it over the block? Stanford can't come up with those. They've had a number of opportunities. The kill for Moretta Lux, that's her third. Had a terrific fall camp and then had an ankle sprain early in the year. That had her limited in the first matchup with Penn State. And has continued to progress as the season has moved on. Washington with a kill for the freshman. Who was another middle. Lutz for Stanford, not playing in that first matchup, really not effective. And on the other side, Haley Washington with an injury, not playing. Uh, of course, Penn State's changed their lineup since she came back in. And uh, on quite a win streak. To the corner for Howard. It's the kill as 
Stanford pulls within one. Lutz goes out. Ajanaku returns for Stanford. Watch this coming right at us. A nice vision by Howard to see the open court aim more for the corner over that middle blocker. Hancock Grant sliding behind, and the block was there for Stanford, and the Cardinals showing some emotion as they draw even. Now this was a move that Brittany Howard had trouble with last week against some of the hitters, some of the slide hitters for Florida in that regional final. Much better move by her today. Oh, good read by Ajana Kuda. Be ready for that left-handed attack of Hancock. Bo Cather able to keep it alive. Back row, Burgess trying to get her timing down, and now a chance for Penn State. Grant with the slide. Burgess got to it. Bo Cather. Braden Gonzalez. Inky with the set. Remember, Stanford was saying yesterday, that's a part of their system now. They want their middles to set some of those plays that the setter makes the first contact on. Franti misfired, and Stanford has the lead. Kelsey Humphreys back to serve. Second generation Cardinal. Her mom Wendy was an All American setter at Stanford as Franti comes right back and gets the kill. State, uh, Penn State cooling off considerably, hitting almost 400 in that first set, barely over 100 in this one. Some extra hitting errors and getting blocked once or twice. Here comes Hancock again, and the service error. So, so far in this set, just one point. And two service errors for Micah. And the game is so young still. She'll certainly get another turn at the service line. Only nine to eight until they ro rotate around to her position again. Off the block and out in the kill. We should point out, by the way, that... This isn't unusual for Hancock, who has often saved her best serves for late. She had six service errors in that regional final win against Wisconsin and a couple of key aces, uh, key serves late in that match to close out the Badgers in a rematch of last year's national championship. And remember, in that national championship game, she started slow but finished yep. off both the third and the final, the fourth set. Big at the service line to pull the, her team ahead after being down by a couple versus Wisconsin. Trying to figure out right now who is serving for Penn State. And then the sub, Kendall Pierce, will come on for Franti. Jonaku is still up front for Stanford. State's middle back going to her right, leaving extra space cross court. She's got two kills of that now. Penn State probably got to switch it up. And got to Courtney for the kill. Point Penn State. Certainly part of the game plan early. Not only to feed Courtney, who gets another kill, her ninth, but they've been serving to the Libro, which you don't see very often. She's usually a pretty good passer. And that one not even close to the court for Grant. Yeah, I know part of Penn State's game plan is they wanted to challenge the Libro. Normally you don't do that, but they saw something in Kyle Gilbert's passing that made them want to at least test her. Hancock to Courtney. Back to Megan. Good defense from Stanford. I didn't get from Penn State. Courtney trying to get it down, does not. And Cardinal now up a couple. Sure like how, how Pierce was able to come up with that corner swing from Burgess. Nicely executed by Penn State. Hancock's 
back set to Whitney the tip. Or just missed it long. Six hitting errors, seven hitting errors now for Stanford. Five for Penn State in the match. This is Lacey Fuller, their defensive specialist. Senior out of San Diego. Lux back in and they feed her right away. Yeah, that's a staple for Penn State is having those experienced, smaller players to play ball control in the backcourt. Control the serves of Stanford like that and control their attacks and even come up with hitter coverage. Almost, Fuller almost comes up with that one where the opposing team blocks it quickly to your floor and you keep it alive. Here's Lux with a couple in a row. Or that, check that Burgess had that block. Stanford trying to draw even after Penn State rocked him a bit in the opening set. And the Cardinals trying to right themselves. They've got the lead here, 15-11, in set number two, the National Semis. 59% to 45 so far, the advantage for Penn State. Yeah, and what that means is how well is the opponent, or how well is each team controlling the serve of the team across the net. A number 60 or better is good, and Stanford at an unusually low 45% right now. Oh, kept alive by the Cardinal. Nice by Bill Kepfer. Washington trying to put it away. Can't. Bug to Lutz. That was a two-point swing right there. Bo Cather saved one, and then Lutz got it. I really like how Bo Cather stays with this. It comes off Lutz's head, and that is all right. You can play the ball with any part of your body, and then in transition, Lutz becomes available. So we talked about that big window she has. You can set her high. You can set her low. She does lots of smart things with it. Stanford gives one back with the service error. Franti checks back in for Penn State, and it's Pierce on to serve. Courtney is now out. Bug takes it out of the net to Lux, right back to Lux. She's not going to lose many of those battles at 6'8". She is not going to lose many of those, and she doesn't even need to get off the ground. Watch here. She's barely off, but she's smart enough to know there's nobody back in that left corner as she looks across the net. Courtney with a tough pass. Hancock got to it. Oh. Oh, played it over instead of setting up a teammate, and Franti gets the kill. So there's a two-point swing back to Penn State. You are right. Impatient play by Bug. I love the hustle Hancock had to keep this ball alive. And Maddie Bug's got to make sure her team uses all three contacts. Not going to fool a Penn State team with that kind of shot. Howard sneaking from behind for the kill. Well, the Women's Volleyball Championship will continue with the final match Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2. For more information, visit NCAA.com, your home for all 89 NCAA championships. Stanford by five, make it six with the ace. You can see Penn State. Receiving serve with only two players right now. Humphrey's serving. Hancock to Franti. Off the block and out. Point Penn State. We saw this right from the start, and Penn State still sticking with us. Hitting the high line off the two right side blockers for Stanford. Bo Cather, when she's at the net, or Maddie Bug. Here comes Hancock again. That is her third service error already of this set. They've scored just the one point when she's been back there. She was much more effective in that first one. They start her at the service line so that they get a very good chance of getting her three service turns. But this game won't get her to a fourth. 
not unless they come way back and make it go deep into overtime. Bo County serving. Tip by Whitney now. Ajanaku sliding behind. We haven't seen that in a while. And Inky right on cue. Four points from evening up the match. Was holding the World Championship trophy we won uh, in Italy in October. First time for Team USA. Penn State gets the kill. We, we didn't get to catch the photo of you coaching, which went viral for a while. Your celebration after that championship. Uh, yeah, a little excited. Yeah. <laughs> you win one of those every 62 years. Uh -huh. You gotta gotta let it let it rip a little. Of course, Harmato made a name for herself initially here at Penn State. She was a member of their 2007 and 2008. National championship teams, those were the first two of four in a row. The four beat for Penn State. There's great uh, teams with her and uh, Nicole Fawcett, and then uh, Fawcett rather, and then later on, of course, the class right behind them, Megan Hodge and Alicia Glass. All of whom have gone on to play roles for Team USA, and boy, did I like that move, that blocking move by Megan Courtney. And they get another one, two in a row, on a nearly unstoppable, even a, the opposing coach, Russ Rose, says you can't do anything about it, but Penn State, twice in a row, does something emphatic versus a John Aku at the net. This one will spin and stay in, so now it's John Dunning's turn to call the timeout. Match tonight, Holly spoke with uh, Kerry Walsh Jennings from the Stanford side, won national championships with the Cardinal. What a nice read by Micah Hancock on that play. She knew, she's a setter, she knew how setters want to operate. She's a setter, she knows how setters want to operate, and she was all over that from Bug. Then Bug tried to put it over her head and makes the mistake trying to thread the needle. It is four in a row here for Penn State. Bug to Ajanaku, making it five straight for the Nittany Lions. Wow, this is really nicely executed, too. Watch how Courtney pulls way in to help out on the block because there's nobody going behind the setter. They have been down by as many as six in the set, and right here they can pull to within one. tries to end the rally. It's Hancock to Courtney off the block. Burgess can't keep it up. Six in a row for the Nittany Lions. And a good ad a defensive adjustment by Penn State to play for the corner swing of Brittany Howard coming up with it so that they could get the transition offense going. Buck, back to Howard. And that will end the rally. Stanford, three points from evening up the match. Howard serving. The pass to Hancock. They go back to Courtney, who terminates. There they go again, attacking the high line. Going over or around the right side blockers for Stanford, Bud and Bo Catholic. 11 kills now for Courtney. Nice up. Dug up by Pierce. Here comes Courtney again. Rolls it over the top for her 12th kill. And it is even at 22. And it all started with Kendall Pierce, number three in blue on your screen. Watch her move over and play. First she started left to play in the corner, then went back to the middle of the court. Courtney, of course, with a smart roll shot to cause trouble. At one point, it was 21 to 14, Stanford. They get it down, back up by one. You could see the defense for Penn State playing pretty deep, and nobody able to re to uh, to react to that deflection. Now Lutz comes to the net. Let's see if Penn State can make her move. Bug able to slow it down, and Lutz with the kill. Set point, Cardinal. They've got a couple of them. She 
hits those sharp angles. Most middle hitters wouldn't even try to hit a ball like that. But at six foot eight, she can hit it right off that left side blocker's hand. Hancock looking back to Courtney. Batted back over by Bug. Again, it's Courtney. Tools the block. They save the set point. And now here comes another one. And of course, when the ball's on your side of the net, you have an advantage. So Stanford has a better chance to score the winning set point on this play than the previous one because they get to run their offense. They get a good pass. Bug doesn't have to move for Burgess, who gets the kill. Able to stay in system. And despite losing hold of a seven-point lead in that set, they finish it off.